Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to a new story with me, Jihan. In these types of stories, I try to explain, to simplify the Turkish language by explaining the meaning of the words, the some phrases, because some phrases cannot be translated as they are. We have to take the whole meaning. So my aim from these stories that I post on YouTube is to make Turkish language easier for those who are learning, whether by explaining the meaning of the words, the phrases, the grammar. And I'm glad that these are beneficial for you. And I know that from your comments that you leave under the videos. So thank you for your comments. Today we have a new story. For those who like these types of stories, and need more practice, need to learn more words, especially those who are in the beginner's level, I advise you to click on the link in the description box below. I have nine hour long five stories. So five stories, they are nine hour long. I explain each sentence alone. And they are nice stories with meaningful endings, a lesson to learn at the end of this story. So for more details, check the link in the description box below. Now let's start. Our story today is about, or it is called, Ajami Bülbül Fikrası. So it talks about Ajami Bülbül. Now, Ajami means an uh, unexperienced person, someone who does a work without being experienced. He is a beginner, something like that. Now, Bülbül, this is kind of a bird, so you can write Bülbül on the on Google and you know its meaning or, or which type of bird. And I think it's called Nightingale. So this is the bird Fikrasse and we know by now what's Fikrasse. Let's start with our nice story and simple one and very short one. So of course, the character of this story is Nasrettin Hoca. We all know by now who is that character. Let's start. Hoca Nasrettin bir gün komşu bahçenin Yanından geçer, meaning Nasreddin Hoca passes by the neighboring garden one day. So Hoca Nasreddin is Nasreddin Hoca, and we know Hoca like a teacher, someone who has a position. Bir gün, a day, komşu bahçenin yanından, geç, yanından yes, geçer, passes, so geçmek, to pass, geçer, this, this is the geniş zaman. When do we use the geniş zaman? We use it when we do an action habitually always like you always wake up every morning you always have breakfast we use genish saman again hoja nasrettin hoja nasrettin or nasrettin hoja one day passes next to so yanında yanından next to komşu bahçenin his neighbor's bahçe which is like garden so one day nasrettin hoja passes by his neighbor's garden O sırada gözü bahçedeki armutlara ilişir. At that time, his eyes come across the pears in the garden. So, o sırada, at that time, while he was passing, at that time, what happens? Gözü, it means it comes from the word gözü, eyes. Bahçedeki armutlara, the pears that are in the garden. So, bahçe, garden, bahçede, in the garden, bahçedeki, those who are in the garden. So, the pears that are in the garden, ilişir means, now here, like if we want to translate ilişir alone, it means connect. Ilişir means connect, but it comes from ilişmek, which means to be involved, involved in. So, maybe we should change the translation a little bit. It means, so this sentence means, at that time, his eyes come across the pears that are in the garden. Armutlar o kadar leziz görünür ki canı çok çeker. Sonunda dayanamaz ve armutun birini yer. Meaning of the sentence is the pears look so delicious that he craves a lot. Finally, he can't stand it and eats a pear. Armutlar o kadar leziz görünür ki this sentence means the pears look so delicious and key here to confirm they are very they look very delicious ki, and you see this key you hear it when you uh, watch movies in a conversation this key so of, of course it has other meanings so the pears look very delicious that his johnny chok checker means he craves so much 
Chuck is very much Jane his soul, but of course we don't say that. Checker, checker, check is to pull from checkmate to pull. This is the Greek German. Of course, we don't translate word by word. So Jane Chuck checker means he craves so much. Sonunda dayanamaz ve armutun biriniyer. At the end, finally, he couldn't stand it and eats one of the pears. So sonunda, finally, at the end, dayanamaz cannot stand. He cannot stand these delicious pears. So so this word comes from dayanmak to resist. So here, mas is the negative of the Ginnish zaman. Dayanamaz he couldn't resist. Dayan, this is the uh, when you remove the mak and mek, we have dayan. Then this a, uh, what does this a uh, mean? It has a meaning. When it comes with mas, so here, when we don't have this negative, so, some words we have, it's positive. Some words are positive. When we add this a uh, after the verb, it means can. But since we have negative, it means cannot. So cannot resist. Ve armutun birini yer and eats. So yer, also genish zaman, he eats. It comes from yemek to eat here is the Ganesh. He eats one of the pears. Birini, one of them. Armutun lezzetine doymayan hoca bir tane daha yer. Bir tane daha derken kendini armut ağacında bulur. Now, the meaning of these two sentences is hoca who can't uh, get enough of the taste of the pear eats another one and then finds himself in the pear tree. So, armutun lezzetine doymayan hoca. The hoca that cannot get enough, doymayan, cannot get enough, I will explain that more, of the taste, the, let's say, delicious, yes, delicious taste of the armut. What does he do? Bir tane daha yer, he eats another one. So, bir tane one, one of the, one of the pears, daha also, or means more, extra. So, Again, the hoja who who can get enough doy mayan who can get enough uh, of that delicious armut eats another one. Now armut tun lezzetine the delicious armut delicious pear doy mayan. Let's explain this word more. Here we have a word called like for example doy mak or when I say doy dum it means I'm full. So you're eating you're eating then you say doy dum I am full. Here the negative. So that hoja cannot get full of this delicious almut. It means he cannot get enough of them. This is how we translate it. Bir tane daha. Yeah, we said it. Bir tane daha. There can. Kendini armut ağacında bulur. While saying here, while saying another one, he finds himself kendini. So bulur. Geç zaman. He finds himself on the armut tree, on the pears tree. Uh, tree aj means tree aj on the tree so bir tana, uh, bir tane daha derken so here he ate one and then by saying now we're saying but we mean he ate another one then he finds him, himself where on the tree of the pear ağacın üstünde başlar armutları yemeye he starts to eat the pears on the tree so ağacın üstünde on the tree Aj, we said that here. Ajin üstünde, üst means up, above. Üstünde, above the tree. Başlar, he starts. Also, we have AR, the Gerich zaman. Armutları, yemeye. He starts eating the pears. Again, he starts to eat the pears on the tree. Bir vakit sonra bahçenin sahibi hocanın karşısında dikilir. Meaning, after a while, the owner of the garden stands in front of the hoja. So, bir vakit sonra, after a while, vakit uh, means time. So, after a while, bahçenin sahibi, the owner of the garden. So, now compliment. Hocanın karşısında dikilir. Stands, stands, yes. Stands in front, facing the hoja. So, hocanın karşısında Facing the hoja, or we can say the killer stands in front of him. Nasrettin hoja komşusunu görür görmez bülbül gibi ötmeye başlar. As soon as Nasrettin hoja sees his neighbor, he starts to sing like a nightingale. 
So Nasreddin Hoja komşu sunu his komşu is neighbor komşu su his neighbor komşu sunu. Here we have the ne as a protection letter you because we have this verb görmek. So görür görmez. This is a grammar when you repeat the same verb, but here Ganesh here uh, it's positive and here it's negative. It means as soon as. So as soon as Nasreddin Hoja sees. Gör. Sees his neighbor. What happens? Bülbül gibi ötmeye başlar. He starts. Başlar. Ötmeye. To sing like bülbül. Like that bird. Bahçe sahibi hocaya yaklaşıp the owner of the garden approaches the hoca. So yaklaşmak. To approach. Yaklaşıp. We spoke first before about the up when we have to. We're going to continue with the sentence by the way. So uh, we're going to have two verbs, two actions. Instead of repeating the ending of the second verb and putting the word there, we use the if. So I explained it several times in the stories. Again, the owner of the garden approaches the hoja. Hey, ne, ne yapıyorsun orada? Diye bağırır. What does he tell him? Hey, so you know that. What are you doing there? He shouts. So he approaches him, him and shouts, What are you doing there? This is easy. Ne yapıyorsun? You. Sun. You. Yapıyor. So ne yapıyorsun orada? What are you doing there? Diye bağırır. He shouts. Nasreddin Hoca gayet sakin bir şekilde cevap verir. Nasreddin Hoca answers very calmly. So Nasreddin Hoca gayet sakin, very calm, very quiet. Bir şekilde in a way, so in şekil, in a way, cevap verir, he answers. So Nasreddin Hoca answers in a very quiet or calmly or calm way. So depending on how you want to translate it. Ben bülbülüm. Yuvanda, burada, there. What does he say? I am a nightingale and my home is here. There, from demek to say. Again, he says, I am a bülbül. Ben bülbülüm. That bird, so we said nightingale. So I am a bülbül. Um, here is the suffix of ben. Yuvanda, burada. My, so yuvam, am. My home is here. You can say oh, uh, da means uh, also. So my home is here. So when we want to say to translate it, we say I am a bülbül. My home is here. Tekrar çırlak sesiyle ötmeye başlar. He starts to sing again with a screech sound. So very no that sound screech sound. So tekrar again Sherlock Cecile with a sound which is a, a screech sound. He started to, he starts to sing. Finally, bahçe sahibi öfkeyle. The owner, the garden's owner, while angry or angrily, öfke, angry, with anger, it means he's going to speak and he in an angry way. So the garden's owner angrily says this. Bülbül böyle mi öter be adam diye bağırınca. Bağırınca, same as it passed before, bağırır. It means he shouts. By shouting, while he's speaking, he's shouting. What did he say? Bülbül böyle mi öter be adam? Does the nightingale sing like this man? Now, böyle, like this. Bülbül, we know the bird. Me is the question. Öter, sing. Adam is man. Be, like here when someone is angry from another person, they say this be. Alone, it doesn't have a meaning. It is said or you hear it when a person is angry and speaking to another person. So, does the nightingale sing this way? Hoca, what does he reply? Ben acami bülbülüm. I am a beginner bülbül. It means I have no experience. So, I'm a nightingale who is a beginner. Acami bülbül ancak böyle eter. The nightingale sings this way. Or here we can say, now, Ajami, we said it's beginner, has no experience. The nightingale that has no experience, that is a beginner, this way, only this way, eter sings. So, the beginner, the no experience nightingale sings like this. Before I read the story again without any explanation, uh, here is the translation of this story in English and 
As I always say, if you like to take notes like me and you want the PDF form of this story and the other stories on my channel plus the scripts of the movie, movies, also I will be adding the new videos that I upload to my channel. I will also add their new PDF files to that folder that you will get. So that folder is always updated with new material. If you want to know more, click on the link in the description box below. Now, this is uh, the translation. As I said, let's read the story without any explanation. Hoca Nasreddin bir gün komşu bahçenin yanından geçer. O sırada gözü bahçedeki armutlara ilişir. Armutlar o kadar leziz görünür ki canı çok çeker. Sonunda dayanamaz ve armutun birini yer. Armutun lezzetine doymayan hoca bir tane daha yer. Bir tane daha derken kendini armut ağacında bulur. Ağacın üstünde başlar armutları yemeye. Bir vakit sonra bahçenin sahibi hocanın karşısında dikilir. Nasrettin Hoca komşusunu görür görmez bülbül gibi ötmeye başlar. Bahçe sahibi hocaya yaklaşıp ''Hey ne yapıyorsun orada?'' diye bağırır. Nasrettin Hoca gayet sakin bir şekilde cevap verir. ''Ben bülbülüm, yuvam da burada'' der. Tekrar çırlak sesiyle Etmeye başlar. Bahçe sahibi öfkeyle. Bülbül böyle mi öter be adam diye bağırınca. Hoca ben acemi bülbülüm. Acemi bülbül ancak böyle eter. I hope you like the story. Let me know your comments. Did you like it? Do you want another story like this? Would love to read your comments. And please like and share this video with other Turkish learners. Because it will support the channel. Assalamu alaikum.